Hi, I'm going to show you my pleat hack that I came up with, which is on my mask video, but I have since changed it. It's better. So now you're going to make a three inch by five inch card. Our mask needs to be three inches. That's the width, and we're going to pleat in here. And you can just use any kind of box board that you've got. So we're going to take with the front of the mask up, and we're going to attach it, center it, and attach it to our to our board with clips. And listen, look at look at the variety of clips I've got here. I've got large binder clips. I've got little clothes pins. I've got these nice little sewing clips, cheap, cheap, cheap on Amazon. So you can see that you you've got to have something around your house to to use for clips. and then I'm going to flip it around and we're going to line this up and make sure it's even on the sides here and we're going to attach it to our card alright now it comes the fun part of pleating so I've got the top of the mask here and my pleats are going to go down so I make my first pleat, and you can get a feel for how even, even it is, and then I'm going to take and work out my second pleat, and as I'm doing this part, I'm looking at this placement of my bottom pleat. And then it just falls into place. Perfect. It's in its three inches. I've got three even pleats. Magical. Now I'm just going to give the end here just a little press just to keep them together for the next step. Okay. Now in, in, in my mask video, you went to the machine, you took it off the board, you clipped this together, and you went to the machine and you just did a, a little tacking stitch to keep these together. But that's an extra seam. And I thought, why do I need to do that? So now what I do is I take my piece and I'm going to flip this over and it's right sides to right sides and I'm going to center this over the side piece and now I'm going to take a large binder clip super cheap on Amazon I got 48 of them for I don't know $15 something like that and I'm just going to work it and slide it just like that we'll do the other side Well, it wasn't all about the pleats. I could do the pleats. It was keeping them in three inches or two and a half inches or four inches or whatever the width is that you need to keep those pleats in. I was having a really hard time and I was really, really fumbling with it. So I thought of this. And now it's better. Now we're just going to go to the machine. So we'll take this off the board. Oops, rip it off the board. And I'm just going to give this a little press in the middle. Yes, and the more you press, the more professional it looks, and your craftsmanship looks better. Alright, so now we're ready to take this to the machine and we're going to sew our one quarter seam. You're going to take it down this side. You're going to put it in the machine. You're going to fold this over, put it into the machine, sew your one quarter inch seam and when you get down to the bottom, fold this in and you're done back stitching and you're done and you move on
Now while I'm waiting, I just flip this, flip these in, and now I have...